Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be playing as members of the Department of Transportation, but we're going to switch it up and for the first time ever we're doing this mod in Liberty City, guys. So, we're currently on the West Side Highway and we're going to be working with the construction company. They have to go down and do some road repairs, so what we're going to do is use these message board trucks and trailers behind me to kind of help manage traffic and get traffic off of the highway so that the construction crew can do the work that they have to do it's really cool if you guys have never seen these before these are the message board trucks by pw parks fan and they're part of his upcoming plugin which is called variable message board system plus i will have some information down below in the video description in case you guys would like to download these over here we have all of our construction crews so we got ace construction they are now in liberty city and they're pretty much waiting for us to get the highway shut for them so they got the uh, Boxville over there. Oh, we just had an accident. These New York City drivers are crazy down here. <laughs> they got a cement mixer, and then they also have this uh, flatbed truck over here, which has a skid steer. So I'm not really sure what exactly they're doing as far as road work, but our job is just to make sure they have a safe environment to work in. So let's go ahead and get this episode started. I really do hope you guys enjoy this one. If you have been enjoying all of the Liberty City videos that we have been dropping, definitely let me know and again if you guys want to download any of the mods that you see or learn how to get the liberty city mod working for your game i will have all that information and tutorials linked down below in the video description so first thing first let me put my board down all right partner you ready to go get off that phone we got to get to work let's go what you mean, no? We gotta go, man. We gotta get the highway shut down. The construction crew is waiting for us. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so the plan is to shut down the left lane first. So I'm going to place the trailer about right here. We are going to open up our menu. Let's go to current trailer, raise that board, and let's find an appropriate message for it. So let's do left lane closed with an arrow to the right. Okay, so we have that set up there. We can also raise our board on the truck. I'm going to set this one with just right chevron arrows for now. And we're going to get out and try to put down some cones and slow down traffic. Okay, so real quick, guys. I made a path using Scene Manager. Um, basically, what's going to happen is it's going to grab all the vehicles and then make them follow this green line. And the plan is to get everybody off of the highway so they're going to all turn this way exit the highway and then for the people who want to stay in the highway they can basically just cut through this little section i'll add some cones and they can get back on the highway and continue their route or if they were gonna get off and head into the city they can do that too so that's basically how we're gonna set this up and for now i'm just gonna run through and put down some cones and yeah i think we should be good so let's go so now that we are done with that, we can actually end the path creation and now the path should be active. So vehicles should be driving through a little bit slower. Uh, they start at 30 and then they go down to 25 to 20 and then down to 15 as they finally get there. And then they're going to go and exit the highway. So uh, let's see what we can do here now. Um, I guess we could put the rest of the trucks into position. So let me move my truck and then we'll put down some cones before I put down all the cones I'm gonna call in the construction truck so that they can come out and then they can start getting into position before we put all the cones because it will be easier for them to drive in so uh, yeah let's go ahead and start putting on the cones it's gonna take us a little while maybe I'll time-lapse it I don't know I'll see how long it takes let's go oh what the heck was that about Okay, so I was going to use regular cones, but 
you guys always tell me to use something else so i found these these look pretty cool so let's use this one we can also use like this uh there's another one i know they use these on the highway a lot but i feel like i don't know these are really big and you would need like a bigger truck to bring these out so going by what can fit in the, i mean they could fit fit in a pickup truck don't get me wrong but i think we're just going to go with uh these for now so we'll use that These are going to look pretty cool because I believe these could light up at night too. Alright, so we got all of the cones down, the barriers down. I'm going to move my partner's truck and I'm going to place his all the way up. His is going to be the last one, which is just going to let everybody know they got to come completely off the highway and exit. Before we say that, though, we're going to let the construction trucks come up the highway, get into position, and then we'll uh, shut down this last lane. So, so far, everything seems to be okay. Cars are coming down, doing pretty good. Well, uh, let's see, let's set this truck up. For now, we can just do... I mean, we can we can just put exit highway, so we might as well. So let everybody just start exiting from now. So all vehicles must exit now and to the right. So now that we have this set up, we can call in the construction crew. Okay, I'm going to place some of these signs here. These are the road work flag signs, and this is just to kind of get the attention of traffic and let them know that there's going to be road work uh, once they enter the highway. We also are able to change the colors of these two, so um, I think I'll probably just keep it mostly stock though. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. So, uh, let's spawn that right there, road work ahead, and we'll put one on the other side. And we're gonna have to put down some more barricades at that section that, uh, where the vehicles are exit exiting, so we'll head over there next. Alright, road work ahead, perfect. Okay, so I think this sign should work. We're gonna put a detour sign here, and this is just to let traffic know that it is okay for them to, if they don't want to go that way, they can continue down straight, basically. So, uh, we'll put a couple of those detour signs. And uh, they should be able to figure it out from there, I would say. Is that confusing? <laughs> it kind of looks a little confusing. It's like, go right, go straight. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, I forgot to tell them to drive directly to the waypoint. So, that's what was the problem. Now, they're pretty much driving through, as you can see. Perfect. Now, I think all the cars over there are probably going to try to get to this wave point. So, let me see what they're doing. Oh, we caused them. Oh my goodness, look at this traffic jam we've caused, guys. Oh, because I forgot to check. Um, drive directly to the wave point. So, we have all these vehicles that are now in limbo. Oh boy, all right, I'm going to see if I can fix that. Alright, we got that problem fixed, so now let's get the construction crew onto the highway. Alright, so we got the construction crew, and we're gonna go set them up so they can do their work.
This scene is looking pretty legit. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section so far. Traffic is doing a decent job and this looks awesome. Perfect. Alright, so all of these trucks can get into position. Alright, uh, now we're going to put down the final cones so that no other vehicles can come this way. And we'll also, um, I guess this truck is kind of in a good spot already. So let's put down the rest of the barricades. We are going to go with the same one we used up right there. Alright, that looks perfect to me. We can probably put down some cones over here, maybe. Eh. We should probably do like a stop sign over here or something for both sides since it's kind of like a lot going on down there. So yeah, let's, let's go down there and see if we can put down some better signage. Okay, so we're going to put two stop signs here so that traffic that normally gets on here know that they got to kind of watch out. I mean, there kind of should be a stop or a yield sign already because we got two uh, different pathways which are coming at each other with no way for someone to... Look how fast he's coming in! My goodness! And same thing, they'll be doing the same thing this way. So yeah, there definitely should be a stop sign here for sure. So we're gonna put one right here. And I think that should pretty much do it, I would say. All right, so cars come in here. They gotta stop, make sure that nobody's coming on that side. And if it's clear, they can go. If it's not, they gotta stop. And then likewise, same thing over on that side. So I think we did a pretty good job at this whole setup here, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let's take a look at it from the top one last time. So uh, coming in, we're coming in. We got this one with the left lane closed, right arrow. We got the right Chevron arrows over here. And then we have the final one over here letting you know that the all vehicles must exit now to the right. And then we got the construction crew. Oh my god, was he on there the whole time? I forgot about that. That's so funny. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this, con well, not really construction, this Department of Transportation video. Uh, maybe I'll get out here and do a construction video next. If you guys want to see some construction, definitely let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to download any of the mods, like I said, check out my website acepilot2k7.com on my website i have links to everything that i am using as well as tutorials on how to install it and set it up and if you like to become an acecriber on my website that gives you access to some bonus videos including behind the scenes videos showing you how i set up my videos as well as exclusive videos that are only posted on my website and first access to videos before they are posted onto youtube so if you guys would like to check that out definitely consider becoming an acecriber on my website one more time it is acepilot2k7.com also, I got merch on the website too. So if you guys want to get some merch and represent, head over there. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.